Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Reduced access to sexual reproductive health care during the COVID-19 pandemic has had several consequences for young people, especially adolescent girls and women. One such consequence is an increase in the number of unintended adolescent pregnancies, which in turn could increase pressure on girls to marry early. Some reports, including that of the United Nations Population Fund, show a significant impact as a result of constrained access to sexual reproductive health services. Youth-friendly services cannot be accessed easily. Contraceptive methods like condoms cannot easily be got the way we used to. Uh, young people have fear of going to the hospitals because they think that it is where COVID-19 patients reside and they think that is where they would also get COVID from. We may not be having masks and we cannot access services that are in the hospitals. Abalezi, bakoze isa ino evira gala la gala, uroku vanti itibali kuja kumasomero, atene evi okukola, bitono baba sivira waka. Eastern Uganda has the highest reported cases of teenage pregnancies with Luka district alone reporting more than 600 cases. West Nile and Ankole regions have also reported many cases. The police has since received 4,442 cases of defilement reported between January and April 2020. The crisis is affecting the delivery of sexual and reproductive health services around health facilities in the country, especially in the way they operate. Young people, even other patients, feared to come to the facility because they thought maybe all the facilities have COVID-19. In the time of the lockdown, uh, the graph went down in, in the demand for family planning services. The consequences of that uh, was, uh, and yet, some are yet to be seen, uh, high numbers of pregnancies, uh, infections with STIs and STDs. However, the impact of measures to manage the spread of COVID-19 disrupted the supply chains. Majorly, the problem has been uh, the, the variety, especially for sexual reproductive health services, even when it is the same for other services. But you know, when it comes to sexual reproductive health services, uh, particular individuals respond, especially the women on issues of family planning, respond to particular uh, methods differently, others with adverse effects. Even without a pandemic, Women in Uganda face barriers accessing sexual reproductive health services. Most of the family planning methods were not fitting these people. People were fearing to use family planning. When you go, most of the drugs were getting expired in the hospital. Some health workers do not have skills for uh, providing these family planning methods, especially long-term methods. Civil society organizations want government to recognize that these services are essential at this time. Ensure that uh, young people, adolescents, uh, access uh, reproductive health services uh, and information so that they don't mess up in their lives. Our district did not have any budget for family planning. Worked with them, worked with the district budgeting uh, desk, and finally we were able to include in five million per year for advocacy for family planning uptake. Youth champions have been trained to help us talk to this uh, youth about the sexual reproductive health and where they can get the services. Okay? And then we have the VHTs who are there and those ones live in the community. So we need to continue sensitizing them on both issues of COVID-19 together with the sexual reproductive health so that the services all flow at the same time and they should be, they should get the right services at the right time. COVID-19 has placed an extra strain on this issue. While many services shut down to maintain physical distancing and avoid further infections, women still very much need sexual productive health services. Walter Mwesije, NTV. National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life with support from the Ministry of Health. Procure, store, and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda.